everybody. Uh, my name is Lenore von Stein, and this is uh, another episode of The Facts. And with me tonight is Andrew Wolotowski and Bern Nix. And uh, we're going to ruminate on, um, on the upper class and its effect uh, on me. <laughs> uh, and, um, or the class system and its effect on me, you know. Uh, and uh, in, in the way I think about myself, and I've been trying to take this apart, I, I think, I, I don't know how successful I've been. I, I've been quite frustrated with it, but... Uh, Professor Bill Crane and Professor Alan Feigenberg. Both of these people are uh, work at City College. Uh, Bill is a, in psychology and Alan is in architecture. So angry when I saw this place with the with the horrible. Um, the, I grew up in a housing project. It reminded oh, yeah. me very much of some of those things with the the what with this, like the brick that just not brick but big big things of concrete that are mm -hmm. just painted over and many leaks had happened mm -hmm. and there was then the chairs were broken and and I turned to the people I was working for that and I. I I, th I think this is one of the few things that got me fired. There was a list of them, <laughs> and uh, I said, "How can you, how can you, how can you expose these families to this? How can you expose these children to this? What are you, what are you, don't? This is terrible. Yeah. This is, and and they didn't want to hear that at all. But but it it, it, it how does physical environment affect?" <laughs> You always blame every other people, right? Anyway, one thing I'm going to start with is that I can't measure the size of my depth. I mean, I'm worried about that. I'm embarrassed by it. I, 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 I I'm, 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 I, I, there's so much to me, and yet I'm so silly. And I, I'm sensitive, very sensitive to the world around me, but I'm ignorant of it. And I, I'm energetic, I'm tired, and I'm unfocused. Uh, 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 so, I, I, I lost my I lost my train of thought. Uh, so the so the the the. Oh, show sure. so nice to see that. So nice to. Wouldn't it be nice if you could see that? Would you like to see that? What is it? And, and how are things cross-referenced? And one thing, you know, th things don't stand on their own. It's cause and effect, at the very least. If you kill me, I don't know what I am going to do. There's a there's a British study that says that that people who uh, live on in Britain on the streets die about 30 years 30 years younger than people who live in their homes. So um, you know that's just another piece of the puzzle. You know how is I don't live on the streets, but how is how is my 
body and mind affected by where I do live, how I do live. I mean, it can't be unaffected by it. Shabish, 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 It's still, though, highly manicured. It's not the yeah. real exciting natural environment that is. That yeah, it's is. very French. I've been pulled away from myself by being afraid to tell the truth. Um, and I don't think this is native to me. I mean, I, I think that it's where I'm living. I think it's a product of the culture that I developed in. If you put me someplace else, and some, uh, grew up in some other situation, of course I'd be different. Debbie say. Debbie say to to be 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 Oh, uh, so, so, uh, you know, as you negotiate this and negotiate that, you know, how do I handle this one and that one? And I forget who I am, what little I knew about it. It's not that I ever knew. You don't have to know. It's not something you have to know. It's not something you know. It's just something you are. Yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not the wild, which is, I think, in the most inspirational uh, when, the, 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 when the kids um, discover things. And, um. One part of the story, the, the tale of, you know, if there is such a tale, me in the upper classes, must, must start with my parents in the upper classes and their parents, you know, and the uh, it's, um, attitudes and, 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 and uh, ideas, you know, passed to me. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll take that one. I'll, I'll, I got that, I got that, I'll take that one. I got, I got that one, you got that one, you got, I got that one, you got that one, you got that one, I got that one, I got that one, okay, okay, I got that one, okay, 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 okay. It, it, it's, it's, I got that one, that's what it is, that's okay. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. That's what a good person is, that's what a bad person is. Uh, that's, that's, that's valuable, that's not so valuable. Um, it's cute, though.
like a fear of it. And they, well, Nature makes sense, right? And it would have to be a really good uh, uh, landscape architect to make something yeah. really as wonderful. I, I remember going to this arts colony and at this arts club somewhere upstate and I, I just, uh, and I couldn't believe how bad the landscaping was. They had yeah. all these phony rocks and all these phony, and it was so poorly done. It, it hurt. Yeah. Uh, and, and this was an arts colony. be like if I was someplace else. More friendly situation. But what would I have to trade off for that? Or, you know, would I? Messages that that people get from these these hospitable or inhospitable mm -hmm. uh, physical environments, from these physical environments that make sense. I mean, a tree always makes sense. Totally dumb down the exactly the, the, the population. Get them ready to work at Walmart. The goal or McDonald's. is to synchronize the yeah. education system with the economy. And we have an work. economy that is creating low wage jobs requiring a seventh or eighth grade education. You can't have an educational system that's sending everybody to college. Well, test driven education you create widgets. You know, standardized tests, standardized minds. And you don't and care no if they thinking. graduate. They Makes your skin crawl, you know, like like these people are uncooked, uh, and and uh, a person to be, a person not to be. Uh, so ruthless and ignorant. I have just. I had to leave the room. I had to find the door. So, so unkind. And I've been through a couple of these school trainings uh, mm -hmm. to kind of ev eviscerate mm -hmm. The, the the your uh, your private uh -huh. world, mm -hmm. you know, which is really all you have to offer other people. There's no assessment of creativity or independent thinking. There's never been a, a test that measures the ability to think for oneself, let alone creativity, social capacity to think morally. Yeah. Uh, all these issues, and all, that's the reason that schools qualities. that serve. Mm -hmm. Upper middle class, affluent they, they, communities, they, 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 they don't nurture. have a problem with the test scores, no, they do just, they? No, they just, so they're no. able to focus on material that encourages yeah, the, the kids thinking, to yeah. think critically. So they'll go to the elite schools, mm -hmm. they'll yeah. go to the elite That's schools, interesting. and hardly anybody else is going to go to college. <laughs> Thank you.
do about there's a certain sometimes creativity in the rebellious kid I think what do you do I mean as a teacher I think yeah. mostly I get mad when they're rebellious but you're making <laughs> me think that you're making me think maybe I gotta rethink that yeah um, I, re I, I remember the um, while you guys were talking I remember the second day of school we moved into a suburb Teaneck New Jersey and I was called in for a parent conference immediately um, and my son had written as a fifth grader, he'd drawn a cartoon during math class, and he had three of his friends, and he, he, some joke, it was supposed to be humorous, you know, and it was this, and, and she sat down with the teacher and said, what do you think, of, look at that, this was during class, and, and I said, yeah, you know, and um, like, I didn't understand, uh, she didn't know, uh, an unusual parent, I guess, she didn't understand what, I didn't see what was so bad about his drawing, it was, it looked like a pretty interesting cartoon, uh, but there's. Well, she any, thought he, sh he was not paying attention. Paying yeah, attention. yeah, he thought it was. It deserved a parent conference. I was called in. I thought there was something really bad that he'd hit another kid, or he'd stolen something, or he'd drawn a cartoon. Um, yeah, the the pressure to con to toe the line and conform. How do you, you how do you do how do you deal with it when the students are? Which is the reason that tuition is being raised for at CUNY. <laughs> You think it's an accident? This is the neoliberal project in the rest of the world. Impose higher fees for college, for higher education, to keep most people out, so that only a narrow stratum of the population is going to go to college. So whenever we hear about these international test scores, I think we need to keep in mind that this is rhetoric that is used in this country to mask the reality of an increasingly stratified society that needs an increasingly stratified education system. It's our money. It's not my money. It's our money. I mean, other people made it paying little for other people's labor while paying themselves a lot for their name, for their phone call, for their labor. You know, my name is worth a lot. Well, do you have to take that much for it? I mean, you got no sense of right and wrong here? Got no sense of balance? I, you can, so you do. That's not a good enough explanation. Dayasa, dayaso pati, dayaso potapito, dayaso bopapito, dayaso bopapito tito, baya sito pa, tapa tita paka. I can buy this company, put these people out of work, and make a lot of money. That's not a good thing to do. I can sell cigarettes to teenagers. That's not a good thing to do. Over the rainbow, into the woods. Right, at um, city <laughs> at city college, they get into debates on which math should come first, which, oh, right. which should come second, as if there is a as, it doesn't a follow any. Yeah. Do you know that you, when yeah. science is taught, you have biology, chemistry, and physics in high school? Yes. Do you know why that sequence? No. It's alphabetical. <laughs> oh, That's darn. the rationale. There was differences among scientists of what basis. And if you think about it, I think about it, the logic is physics should be first because that's the most concrete. That's our everyday dealings. But it was alphabetical. It makes us sleepy. You know, we're, 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 we're sleepy when we're crafty. We're sleepy because we're crafty. You were s saying before we started the show that there's a lot of imitation. And to be different is 
is threatening in some ways to the well, yeah, one in of the, the things, art world. Well, one, one of the things that you know, when, in, in the teaching of arts, for instance, in the teach, let's just say in the in the using of arts in school, how do you how how can you how can you uh, if if the kids are not allowed to to deal with things that actually interest them, and that includes you know bad mouthing you or whatever you know mm -hmm. that includes taking on authority, mm -hmm. then how are they ever going to get to 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 um, I remember when I was in the fourth grade, I drew a picture of some nuns, and I was so frightened for so long to draw this picture that had been in my mind. And it was such a wonderful release when I drew this picture uh -huh. and the sky didn't fall in, you know. <laughs> uh, if I understand you, the real purpose is to, is, is to dumb down the... Yes, the real the, purpose the is... Red, the rhetoric is to complain about it, but the real purpose is to dumb totally. down... Totally. I overstepped. I, I, I understepped. I, I, I didn't go at all. I uh, wasn't there. I was, in the I was in the store. I was in the street. I was, in, I was, I was, I was finding a, a house, a, a wangle, a wangle, a wangle, a wingle, a wangle, a songle, a dongle, a bongle. A student of mine said to me the other day, oh, yeah, I like that part where we were all arguing. Arguing. That's that's the stuff, he said. That's, that's right. the stuff. Added to um, as I develop these strategies for developing um, uh, a workable, sane strategies for dealing with uh, who I am, you know, within the context that I find myself, um, um, and and getting ahead because I'm very ambitious, dealing with my ambitions. Uh, but you know, those they have to be. These solutions have to be things that keep me sane, you know. And and in dealing with these, with the rigors of the game, um, the they often seem the rigors r i g g e r s. Uh, they often seem dangerous, confused, and and as well as ill informed. So how do I? How do you come up with something good? And we're we're getting to the end here, gentlemen. If you kill me, I don't know what I'm going to do. That's amazing how the people come back to that. What they think, they look back on and think it was really exciting. You thought maybe it was chaotic, but we have a lot of trouble letting, letting learning become spontaneous and involving some chaos. We have a lot of trouble with that, and that's, we have a lot of trouble with innovation. So we, we, we're going to we're going to close out now, uh, and 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 you know I'm, I'm talking about focus, of course, and confidence, and intolerance, and anxiety, and stiffness, and dulled assessments, and quick responses, and 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 manipulating one sense of history and well-being, you know. For instance, racism, and, and 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 I'm talking about nice clothes and factories where they're made, and beautiful stores and the salespeople's homes, and and food and field hands, and and big neat homes, and on TV and maids and movie stars. And uh, some ways to the well, yeah, one of in the, the things, art world. Well, one one of the things that you know, when, in in the teaching of arts, for instance, in the teach, let's just say in the in the using of arts in school, how do you how how can you how can you uh, if if the kids are not allowed to to deal with things that actually interest them, and that includes you know bad mouthing you or whatever you know mm -hmm. that includes taking on authority, mm -hmm. then how are they ever going to get to to to? Um, I remember when I was in the fourth grade, I drew a picture of some nuns, and I was so frightened for so long to draw this picture that had been in my mind. And it was such a wonderful release when I drew this picture uh -huh. and the sky didn't fall in, you know. <laughs> uh, Flirliness and, 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 and planning ahead. I did it, the less I did it, the more I did it, the, the 
concentration on that gave me some illumination on all of that. It's it's not like it's not like it's not like it's not like it, 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 or it is like I don't know. It's 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 keeping it's staying awake uh, in a in a in a in an ever growing awakeness, not just sort of where you were before, but this ever 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 blooming. Uh, uh, l- looking for the truth, look, looking, 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 and um, and it's that's a, a satisfaction. That's satisfying. That's 